Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass from the Endless Fair Forum, and uh, today I would like to uh, talk to you uh, about some uh, interesting things about the uh, hub motor protection. So as you can see, this is a QS205 hub motor. Well, in fact, the uh, stator and the um, axle were removed. So I would like to show you a little preparation that I made for that motor. First of all, I painted the uh, inner of the uh, rotor with uh, a special um, uh, motor uh, protection coating. This is kind of a varnish made for, uh, especially for a motor, electric motor. And also, right here in the corner, I'm not sure if you can see, I've added epoxy. This epoxy was to um, uh, avoid the water to come between the magnet here and the steel ring because when it happened uh, you might risk that the uh, the uh, the iron here will rust and when it rusts it inflate it, 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 it inflate so it take volume and it might unstick the uh, magnet uh, this already happened to one of my friends and all the magnets were just unsticked and when he uh, cranked the throttle the, the wheel wasn't moving, but the magnet was. <laughs> that was a strange thing. Okay, so this is for the uh, rotor, you can see. Um, and it's a pretty uh, thin layer, so it will not uh, change. Um, it, it will not be difficult to uh, put back the, uh, the stator. Okay, so that's for the rotor. And now... This is the stator, so it's a complete job. I've painted uh, every part except the bearing, where, where the uh, bearing will sit, and the rest of the axle, and as well as for the uh, wires. But everything here was painted, and I've prepared the surface with uh, isopropylic alcohol and uh, some parts that are not uh, covered with uh, varnish already on the wires and plastics. Uh, so uh, only the metal, I use also acetone before using the uh, alcohol isopropylic. So this for years protected all my motor, even if I get, uh, uh, I leave the bike in the rain and uh, these kind of things. I never got any rust here and sometimes you can even um, uh, freeze the stator in st inside of the uh, rotor and the the uh, the motor is blocked. It, it just don't want to move because of the rust that kind of a uh, glue the magnet and the uh, uh, the stair together because of the rust. Let me show you what happened when you don't do that and you leave your bike on the rain. First of all, you see this is kind of a orange and brown color here. This is the inside of the aluminum. Normally it's aluminum color like this. But here, all the iron have rusted. You see here, that's shit. So you see all the rust on the magnets. You see here, so this is the same Q05 motor you see inside. And even there's rust powder here inside and there's a lot of rust all between the magnets in fact all the magnets are covered by rust uh, dust and on this motor um, we tell that uh, the motor phases was jammed uh, was uh, short here which was the cause of the uh, rotor that don't want to turn uh, when we rotate it relative to the wheel but in fact it, it, it's the rust that jammed the motor it's impossible to rotate that uh, rotor and uh, that rotor and that uh, stator together so that's the uh, damage that you see when you don't protect your motor so please guys take care and uh, when you get your new motor it will take about one day for preparation uh, baking the paint and uh, take care of your motor to protect and avoid these kind of things okay so um, I, I recommend doing that because uh, uh, you spend a lot of time preparing uh, the wheel, the spokes, the right tire, protecting everything, but don't forget the inside of the motor. And I will show you also the preparation that I did on the uh, side cover that is uh, right here. 
you see well it will not help a lot but at least it will avoid reflection from the infrared between the uh, stator to the inside of the side cover back to the stator okay because aluminum is a kind of a mirror it's a perfect reflector for infrared and when you paint in black in fact instead of reflecting the, the uh, heat the uh, uh, infrared it will absorb it and in fact yes it will re-emit it but it will re-emit it also on the other side which contribute to extract a little bit of heat from your motor to the outside so uh, it doesn't take a lot of time just protect the bearing and all the rest and paint it with a uh, matte uh, black uh, coating so it's easier that way so thanks for watching and i hope you uh, appreciated next step for me on that motor uh, i will get the uh, ferro fluid the um, stetorade and i will put about seven milliliters uh, on that one to uh, have the um, uh, the uh, heat extract from the, uh, st the, the stator to the roller magnets and oh guys when you apply paint on these uh, there's no problem uh, to uh, cook and to bake that that uh, paint at about 100 degrees celsius for the uh, stator but for the roller the magnets are more sensitive to temperature in fact they are fragile when the uh, roller uh, when the stator is not uh, close to the magnet because the uh, magnetic line uh, make the magnet more sensitive when they are not closed by the uh, stator from what I've understand and I've read so I will recommend maximum 60 degrees Celsius to cook the magnet ring here okay maximum 60 degrees Celsius for about uh, well there is no limit of time uh, on that one I will say uh, 12 hours something like that and it will harden the uh, uh, the coating so thanks for watching guys bye bye